Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading Purple Hyacinth, episode 77 to 78. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to blur 50% of each episode in order for me to stay on the public YouTube channel and not have it get taken down. That's what I have to do. But if you guys want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. And for anyone out there who wants to check it out on my private channel where I can post everything and have it uncensored, no cat logo, and you guys also get early access to all my content for the month, is available on patreon.com slash cktchaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. Whew, okay. Uh, uh, huh? Uh-uh. You're his brother? Oh, I didn't even know he had one. Not surprising. And you're his friend, I presume? Yes. Hm? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to intrude. It's alright. Our reunion wasn't planned. There's a reason you never heard of me. Of your brothers? How? What? You heard him. I abandoned him. So ten years ago, I just left. Without any explanation. Without saying goodbye. I'm afraid all that weight of the Hawks family fell on William's shoulders afterwards. Leave him alone. I'll only make it worse if you go after him right now. You walked out of his life ten years ago. I don't think you know him best anymore. T -t That's true. <sighs> Will. Here I go. Purple Hyacinth, episode 77. sure music is on I didn't know you had a brother uh, I used to have a sister too Dana she laughed unbashed, bashedly, and always had a story she wanted to share. I loved listening to her stories. She was like the sun. Everyone was inevitably drawn to her. Jo de Vivri. She was also fearless. Actually, that's why sometimes other people were scared of her. I still remember that time she chased down a man twice her size, with a garden gnome because he wasn't harassing our neighbors. It's been a little over ten years since she died. I keep meaning to tell you. I'm sorry for leaving so abruptly the other night. This... this was her watch. I kept it after she passed. But don't worry, it didn't break when you dropped it. It stopped working a long time ago. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. I don't know why your brother left, or what you went through after he was gone. 
but it seems like there's still a lot of feelings there. I know. I know I shouldn't be this angry. If anything, it should I should be overjoyed to finally know that he's alive. I'm so sorry about your sister. No, no, Will. You have every reason to be angry. It's okay to feel like that. It just means that you're hurt. And that's okay, you know? You don't have to hide your pain behind your anger. I mean, you're angry at me all the time, and look at me. I'm still here. <laughs> I get why he did what he did. Why he ran away. There are times when I wish I could do the same. Escape everyone's expectation. <laughs> but I can't do that. Because I feel like I have this responsibility to fix the hole he left for us. A hole I thought I could fill. A hole I've been trying to fill for 10 years, but it turns out I can't. Mother is on her deathbed and she still wants to see Raphael. Even if I'm here. Even if I did everything after he left. She can't see me. It feels like I'm living someone else's life. I know. I'm not in a position, any position to say this. But maybe you need to let go of this grudge against your brother. Not because I think you should forgive him. But holding on to anger is like poison you think you're offering the other person. Only you're the one who drinks it. He stole your past already. Are you going to let him have your future too? And look, one day he might be gone for real. And then this resentment is all you'll have left of him. T all right, our shift is probably over. Let's go eat something, my treat. Not water, Not watermelons. I'll treat you to whatever you want. <laughs> Probably bland toast with sugarless coffee. Seems like it'd be your favorite meal. Yeah, never mind. I'm kidding. All right, tell me what do you want to eat. Let's find something warm. My butt is freezing. I literally cannot feel it. Yeah, something warm would be nice. Like the sun. Oh. But you hesitated. Please turn on your sound. Okay. Purple Heisen, episode 78. T Mostly rich people, cheating spouses, scared quitters. I miss hunting down du doable agents and the bounties they came with. I'll have to be careful with this one. I've never seen you so protective over someone since. You, you were that boy. I see. They know. And they blackmailed you too. They want you to turn to assassin, make you their pawn. Do it, boy. I know who you have to do for. Do it for. But listen to me. They will make you take many lives, but never let them take your soul. Never forget who you are. I know this isn't you. Never let it become you. You hear me? Do not become the monster they want you to be. You hear me, Kieran? Now do it. Kill me!
Don. I chose blades over guns for very different reasons. I never thought I would have to wait for so long. Apostles, the leader's closest allies. How? A how? I dedicate my life to finding the head behind all these abominations while they... They were two of its 13 founding pillars. Even if they were survivors of the Snapdragon, how could they go so far? How could they stand behind a psychopath like that? And only to be killed for... For it? Hundreds of people were killed for it. I almost was too. And Dylan. Sandman. It was... It was a lie! Making sure the music is not too loud. No. Sandman knew him. His body missing. There was only his hat. And with his, and with what Saki said, are the people in the car still alive? Yes. No. I don't know. Did they take him? Why would they? Where did they bring him? Does it mean that he could still be? <laughs> she paper cut on her finger. Yes. All these years, I've hoped for a hint that you somehow survived the explosion. Everyone kept telling me you were gone. I believed it too, but something was off. How could your hat be intact in the midst of all the destruction? I wanted, I needed to know. But imagine, imagining you survived and were taken by these monsters. But if there is a chance, an ever so slight chance that you could still be. I know you didn't mean to kill me. That you could still be alive. Alive. Dring, dring, dring. What's that? Uh, Lauren Sinclair. Lauren, it's March. Sorry to disturb you so late. Is there an emergency at the precinct? Do you need me to come in? No, um, listen, I really couldn't be calling you right now, but I wanted to give you a heads up. What's going on? Tim Saki was murdered tonight. What? We just got back from this crime scene. Same MO as Harvey. Things are not looking great for you. I, I see. I'm a suspect? Herman will want to check your alibi. Sorry, I... I have to go. I'll see you tomorrow. Also, I never called you. Kieran was right. Great. <sighs> oh, snap. What's gonna happen? Because she really doesn't have an alibi. Unless she says, like, oh, yeah, Kieran and I were at the circus. But then that means she was right there when, like, really close to when, you know, where Tim Sake was unalived. So, what are they gonna say? How is she gonna weasel her, not weasel, but how is she gonna get herself out of there where she's not a prime suspect of this person, you know? <sighs> hmm. Well, you guys, let me know what y'all think. No spoilers if you guys already read ahead.
But if you guys enjoy my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!